When I started out playing Fortnite, one of the things that I wanted to know the most was how pro players can play so safe, but also look like they're playing aggressive at the same time. I'm gonna show you just that in this video. I haven't plugged my code in like a year, so use code chemmies in the item shop, it helps me out a ton. Let's hop into this video, shall we? So I got clips against my duo in cash cups and arena. I'm gonna give you the best tip that a pro player named Owl has ever given me before. So in this situation, I'm super weak and I got jiving right above my box. This fight was getting unbelievably sweaty and a lot of players just like jiving and they try and take your top like this. Now, what this allows me to do is side jump out to a side where he doesn't have a wall place. I do double stare up and down, and then I do a window edit on the far corner to place a cone, and his natural reaction is just gonna be to jump. When he jumps, you just line up a right-hand peek. This works every single time. Here's a clip from a video I had in the past about playing arena where I did the move in real time. What I do is I jump out and place a wall right in his face. Then I window edit cone, and I don't go for any other piece control, just the shot here. That move, I'm telling you, works almost every single time. Now, this fight I bet you could relate to. Now, keep in mind, we're in the zone, and this guy is just cranking and cranking and cranking. So I stop everything I'm doing, I give him a second to just chill, and then I try and surprise run up on him. Sometimes you can catch people like this. Nevertheless, this is how I play safe. You see how he has two boxes right here? I sprayed my SMG to try and get a wall out right in front of his face. And then I just take my time, I look at him, and I see which direction he's going to, and I jump and try and place floors and cones. Now, here's one of my fights from a solo cash cup. This is a perfect example of playing safe, but really aggressive. Once I shove stairs over him right here, a pro tip that so many people don't realize is that you have to just look at their footsteps. It tells you the true direction which way someone's going rather than trying to think that you're hearing it correctly. Now from here, once I got a crack, it was pretty simple as just trying to spray and jump in his face. To make it easy for me, what I do is spray his top in hopes that he rebranches and then I'll just jump right in on that floor. So when you play safe, what you don't wanna do is this. I try to be fancy sometimes in my games and it just gets me killed almost nine times out of ten. It's a joke. I honestly had the right idea here, but it should have been a window edit in the center and then try and go for a jump shot. Don't be a Ken Beans, please. All right, listen closely to this one because this is probably the best one that I can give you. So Jivin's dead zero ping and in this clip I'm around 20 and he loves to pre-fire and take walls. This is how I counter it. Anytime I think he's going to shoot a wall that's one shot, I just pre-fire it in hopes that I'll get a crack on him. Anytime I make an edit though, I know that he's taking that wall. So I try to use my box to play a different angle. Now I missed the shot here, but I set it up again in a second. So I drop down, I have this box here. When I think that he's going for this wall, I back up, edit a wall, but then go on a different side to try and grab a peek where he's not looking. It's almost like I'm trying to bait that initial wall and then that way I'll be able to edit on the right side of him and get a little sneaky shot. Now he got in here, which is super unlucky, but this play works all the time. Against the sweat, this is like a must know. The bottom line when it comes down to playing aggressive and safe is that you kind of just have to have your shotgun out majority of the fight. I go for peace control opportunities here and there, but majority of the time I'm just trying to play a peak really slowly and they'll just naturally be the aggressor and you'll get damaged. Even towards the end of this fight, you'll see once I try and grab this wall here, I'm just playing it slow and I'm not jumping in his box because he could still one pump me. The time I get in people's face is when I have a massive health advantage. If you want to get better at the game, the fastest way, and I'm not even BSing when I tell you this, remember this example. This is how you're going to do it. You're going to sit on the side of a wall and just pick exit and hold your shotgun out. Pay attention to the footsteps and the audio because you're going to be able to hear them when they make an edit or when they're about to make an edit. Now, if you're still confused, don't worry. I have a second one. I'm trying to grab the pulse rifle. So I go up to this guy's box and this is the same setup. I just create a box and I create a little two by one right here and I just sit and pick X and I can't be seen on this angle. So even if he tries what he thinks is a right hand peek, I'm going to get the shot. And right after that, I'm trying to do some cheese and just like full jump in his box after he resets it, but it didn't work. But that is the play. You get that massive crack, you're going to win the game. Every pro and their mother uses that move. So sometimes you're going to end up playing too aggressive or find yourself in a really bad situation. Check me out. When I got dropped here, the first thing I did was duck behind the cone so it's a harder shot for him. And then after that, I wait for him to make another edit on this wall and then just shoot it, claim it, and try and leave this box really quickly. Because of the angles I played there, I only took 17 damage instead of 200. Now here's a really tricky one that I think a lot of players fall for it and even I fall for it sometimes if I'm being honest. I have like no mats but I see this guy fighting. I try to pick up this kill. I end up getting it. The other guy comes rushing in and instead of trying to make a really wide open edit because I know he wants to come in this box, I just make a window edit and play the peak. Now even if he shoots the wall and tries to grab it back, it's a way better alternative than making a 50-50 edit so that he can max me. Majority of times they're gonna end up doing this where they just crouch and try and hug the peak that they don't really have. Okay so this fight starts out a little drone. I'm not 
gonna lie, but I end up coning this guy. I see the floor below 75 HP, so I smack it, place a cone, then a wall, and I can set up a right hand peek. This gives me a better peek, first shot, and it's just way better than 50 50. I tried to play a peek on the left side here, but this really should have been a window edit again. That was just a choke. So I'm fighting off spawn on my spot here. I kill this one guy, and then the next one shows up, and he's in this box. After I hit him on this window edit, and then he ends up claiming the wall back, I want him to edit again because I know he's weak since I cracked him. So I go all the way to the right and then I just run to the left and then go for a quick little flick shot. This is a little bit more aggressive than it is safe, but it's still a really good peek because no one's going to be able to really time it that well, especially if they're not on zero ping. Here's a really annoying fight. I have low mats and I'm just getting sprayed away and all the bullets are bleeding through. At this point, I'm triggered and I see he's doing something good here where he's taking my top, but he places cones around him so I can't can't side jump. What I did here was sprint out to the side and just try and mantle up right in front of his box. There was only one play to make in that situation and I ended up finding it. And then afterwards, I just have to run and pickaxe through his walls. And then I know here, if he runs through this wall that he just edited, all I have to do is spray and I'm guaranteed to get at least one shot to go through. Here's a really weird situation. And I know this play is super awkward, probably looks like I'm being a drone, but I double edit on this guy and somehow he morphs through the floor, right? So instead of trying to go to the left or do something different I just go more to the right play the right hand peek and make sure that if he does place this wall to my left I'll be on the other side of the box that way it's just a free kill after that the other week Jivan and I were playing scrims we were box fighting a guy up top it was just a solo but he was a sweat I create a box here and I'm looking at his footsteps that's the most important part of this whole thing when he gets here I place a wall and then a cone and then instead of going for a shot I reset that way he shoots the wall if he does and then I try to full box him in this box here now I guess I guess he just morphs out, but I mean, usually you're gonna box the guy and then you and your duo run in and you get the kill. So here in this 1v1 with Jivan, we're getting sweaty again. And he's trying to just jump straight in my face. So I edit a window to try and go for a shot. And I know that since I just made an edit, he's gonna try and run through. So I pre-fire him breaking my own wall. And then it worked out for me even more because I end up getting it back. I'm gonna bring you one step further. You saw me do this move where I run out the side and then reset the cone and then jump up and try and go for a shot here. That's because I paired the pre-fire shot with the same combination of moves I used earlier in a different tip I showed you. This is how I usually play safe, but it just comes off as aggressive. Now, this is just really good piece here, and it all started from throwing a cone from underneath his box, which made him rebox. So that one simple action allowed me to get a cone above him again, and this time he jumps into it. At this point, he's full panic, so I just know he's going to create even more space, which is why I just pre-box this side and get a nice kill. Now, here's a small, subtle tip, and especially with 200 pumps in the game. It's so damn good. Right after I pounce on this guy, he's building freshly built wood. That's when I go to try and take it. But you'll notice the whole time I'm swerving to the left so that that way he makes an edit, I'll be outside the box. But I got the wall, so I 200 pumped. Now in this fight, I get a kill, but this guy's on my head already. I'm still running over all this loot because even if he did get this floor, which he did, I just shoot it and then I grab it back. And since I did that so fast, I got enough time to run over everything. Now, because I have this cone in my box, this allows me to make a window edit with a 100% certainty that if he does get the wall back, I just flip the cone and then I'm good. I also reset this wall, wait for him to shoot it. I hold it and then go for the wall on the outside. It's super important that I waited for him to break it so that that way he has absolutely no chance of leaving my sights. Here's one quick thing pro players do all the time to me whenever I 1v1 them. This is where I learned it from. So I'm heavily aggressing this wall because I got a kill and I want to claim this loot. In this spot right here, when he makes this edit, I'm absolutely dead. Because I kind of duck and swerve to the right, Right? it just makes me a harder target and then he actually misses the shot all because of that motion right there i got this one pump you might need to watch this video more than once i'm not even gonna lie i covered like six solid things that i use in almost every single cash cup fight that i play beginner medium advanced no matter what level of the game you're at you definitely need to know this b man can use code chemis if this helped you and i'll see you in the next vid peace